Hi, Hoxers! Welcome back to a new episode of Let's Make Some Music Together. For anybody who don't know what this series is about, I'm gonna explain it briefly. You guys comment what I should produce, and the top comment is what I produce. So this week's top comment was from Tyler Music, and he wanted me to make a Martin Garrix style track. I love Martin and most of his tracks, but to be completely honest, the Martin Garrix style is pretty broad right now. So this is what we're going to do. We take the tracks from the Edom EP and we let the spinning wheel decide which track is the reference track what I should make. For me that sounds fair in my opinion. Let's spin, shall we? It is biochemical. And as you can see it's bass house. So let's listen to that track before we go any further. This is pretty doable. So let's make a Martin Garrix track. I think it's good to start off with bass shots. Something like this. Beginning, you know, it's like boom, boom. It's a little bit too heavy, I think. This will help as well. And then we need an ARP. That's pretty cool. Ba -bam -ba -bam. That's what we want as a, an idea. We do need some more dirtiness there. I think it's better if it's... Now we need a hard kick. I think it's better if it... And it needs to be like an... A bound... That needs to be underneath there, of course. We need like a variation here as well, but there also needs to be more in there with just only this. Like a call and response, you know? I think minus three would work. To be honest with this kind of music, it's all about finding the right sounds and the right groove. Let's bring this all together with Kremit. And then we have the bass line. Most of the time those bass lines are pretty simple. We just need like a sub and a little bit of oomph in there. Most of the time what I do is I want the bass line to be present, the main thing. But with these kind of tracks, it is more important to have the bass shots and the lead more present. So it doesn't make sense to also make the bass line present. 12 sleepless hours later. No, no, I just want... Let's keep... Let's just keep it like this. It's just a simple baseline. Be that baseline is much better right now. Cut over here. And a cut you want to... Do. You want that stop in there.
And you want variation on variation on variation. So this as well, like... We need like a, a, a thumb over here. It needs to be like this, I guess. Just a simple hi-hat. Like every part needs to be an FX. Over here, we need an FX. Over here, we need an FX. We just do this FX and then make it the key that we want. This is my favorite button. It's the random button. Two hours later. That's the first part. Let's make a build up. To make it big, you need to play with the release. I just do a simple loop build up. I feel the synth, it's not there yet, to be honest. That's better, I think. And we need a bra, so you Jesus Christ. We need that. That's pretty cool. That's better, that's much better. And then like a vocal that ding 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 large That's better and then we need the clock That's what we need and then we have the Martin Garrix track I think Okay let's listen to it I think we have it right now. I do believe that the break needed a little bit more work, but I don't want it to waste that because the most important part about those tracks is the drop. Uh, if you have a complaint, of course, you can uh, comment it. Uh, otherwise, I'm not gonna do something with it, of course, okay. I just wanted to say also, next week I won't be uploading a new video. I will be the whole week in Portugal because I have a show, RFM Somni Intermarché. I hope to see you guys there, by the way. I'm super excited for this. Um, I, of course, I will be back the week after that. So no worries. I won't be leaving YouTube. I'm just taking a week off. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what kind of track I should make next. Bye-bye. You need to subscribe to Tim Hawks on YouTube or you're going to die.